Here's this really pretty wall hanging that I bought for the wall, which just won't stick. So, see it? Appreciate it, because I love it. I'm gonna put it away. Hi, what's up? It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, if no one wished you, because you're about to be really sad because we share an emotion. The emotion of finding out that our present or future husband actually has a girlfriend. Give me two minutes, I'm literally like in my night clothes. So I will change and I already did my makeup because I don't want to look like a hobo. Um, and see you now. Hi, let's just cut to the chase. By the way, I did this new hairstyle. Excuse this really horrible and it needs to be trimmed, but I'm waiting for the new moon. I know it just went by, it's a whole thing. We'll do another video on it. But it's Valentine's Day. I wake up in the morning, I take my phone. I'm single, but not really single because my Instagram bio said that Duke and I are to be married, which means I was technically engaged to Simon Bassett, aka Rex John Page. I'm, I'm awake, I open Facebook, and the first thing I see is Rex John with this mask and you know, this girl's back. And I'm like, ah, oh, that looks like Phoebe Denver, but she also she's also blonder. So I was like, okay, and then I, I just, I read the headlines like Greg Jean Page with his girlfriend and then she turns around and she just, she's not Phoebe Denver, so it's definitely another girl and so I'm like really, really upset, right? As soon as I wake up, I'm like, it's Valentine's Day. I mean, it's, it's kind of stupid, I know, but, but this is for all of us. 4.3 million of us, 4.6 million of us, 7 million, whatever, 4 point whatever million of us have a heart breaking, you know? Also, I just want to add the paparazzi who waited to release these pictures on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Bro, what do you want? Like, <laughs> send some flowers to your girl or something. Like, oh my god. My predilection for Valentine's Day was just like, wake up, have a nice, pleasant day. A day of love. Filled with love. But that was not what happened. Sometimes the media just puts out whatever, so I was like, you know, I don't think it's true. I don't think so. Sometimes on like social media, you know, they just put out like whatever. You don't really know, like on Facebook and stuff. It's a group, people can post whatever they want. And in the comments, someone said her name is Emily Brown. And someone said it's a really good friend. You know, the comments are all going crazy. So I'm like, let me check the news. So I open up, uh, so I open Google and I'm like, Break it on page and the first thing is like the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail. Sorry ladies. That's all of us. Daily Mail directly address all of us. Bridgerton's dashing duke, Reggie Jean Page 31, already has his status. I was like, I know. It's me. But <laughs> but Blah, blah, blah. It's a scene that millions of besotted Bridgerton fans did, didn't want to see, especially on Valentine's Day. You bet your bottom dollar. It's not what we wanted to see on Valentine's. Anyway, let me just read. This is me giving you the sad news of how my Valentine's was ruined. So, here. The Mail on Sunday can reveal that Reggae Jean Page, who plays the handsome Duke of Hastings in... The hit Netflix drama has a real life girlfriend. A real life girlfriend. Blah blah blah. They're posting these pictures. And uh, here is what. Let me take a screenshot, put it on the screen. But he was spotted last week embracing writer and part time footballer Emily Brown in the street. Close to the $800 home they share. They share in North London. Blah, blah, blah. You can go check out. There's more on it. It's like a whole thing about what he was wearing, what she was wearing. Now, what do we do with this information? Obviously, really upset. <laughs> I had this thing in my head, you know, Reggie's too cute to be single, you know. 
But then I was like, I'm too cute to be single, but look at me. Like, the queen of singleness. <laughs> Obviously, my bio no longer says that the Duke and I have to be married on Instagram, but, um, which you can follow me on, by the way. But the thing, the, you know, look for the best in each situation was that Emily Brown is maybe like an inch taller than me. She's probably like 5'2", five 5'3". Five and me, your girl here, I come in strong and I'm five foot one, sometimes one and a half, you know, just depends on if I'm working out or not. Just depends if I'm doing stretches or not, but so obviously he's like super intellectual and stuff, so I presume Emily is like really intellectual too, so that's a Valentine's 2021. It's better than Valentine's 2020, let me tell you that much, because that story I will tell you sometime. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely hope you had an awesome Valentine's because as much as I said that it was ruined, I actually had a pretty good day, kind of productive. I don't don't I don't believe that there needs to be a reason to celebrate love. So love is love is love is love. Self-love is also a great place to start for Valentine's. Now, take a nice shower, exfoliate, moisturize, do a face back, whatever it is. Just pamper, pamper yourself if you're single. And if you're not, that's cool too. I really appreciate the idea of having a day dedicated just to celebrating love. Um, I think the world needs more of that. And Valentine's Day sort of assuages the situation the world is in, like in certain parts at least for a bit. Like if a couple's always fighting on Valentine's Day, almost don't fight, you know. So it's nice. I love love and it's pretty cool. Yeah, also Reggae's gonna be on Saturday Night Live, I'm sure you know that because you follow him on Instagram if you're here. <laughs> Emily for some reason reminds me of what Perry Edwards used to look like before and I remember the amount of hate that Perry used to get as a young teenage girl so I, I hope the affinity to send hate to um, <laughs> significant others or partners of really good looking men has died down a little bit now so, so please be nice. Thank you so much for watching. Please do YouTube things like liking, subscribing, commenting because of the algorithm. And have a great day and a great week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. The recording? Yeah. Oh, crap. I look white. That's for my blooper. I look white. It is for my blooper. Everybody say hi to my assistant, also personal assistant, which is why you need to subscribe so I can buy her some clothes. Not right now, but in future. Sure. It's whenever my sister comes in, like, I have to have an accent because it kind of puts her really, really off. <laughs> in the right, matey. Right. Excuse her bun. She's been, like, cleaning and cooking and doing little Cinderella stuff today. So her clothes are all wet. And also she has no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? No record of, or no, no awareness, not record. She has no awareness of what season it is. It's way past December, but she's still got on these um, Merry Christmas leaves on and the green on maple leaves. And the, going to Canada. The maple. I'm going to be there. Sure. Bye, people. Manifesting. Man manifesting. Lock the door. Bye. I need to lock the door. Pop the car. <laughs> Bye.